wireless RTD temperature sensor. How you can use this sensor, what does it do, and how to send data to any cloud service or a local server. So in the first segment, we'll talk about the hardware. So when it comes to hardware, it has a main box and then a probe and an antenna. Uh, by default, it supports the three wire PT100 RTD and you have option to buy it with either a PT100 or PT1000. We can build this RTD sensor box with two wire RTD, three wire RTD or four wire RTDs. Let's dig into the hardware. So I have a RTD sensor box with me and when you buy it, it comes with an antenna, an RTD uh, transmitter box, and a RTD cable. This RTD cable, particularly one, is a PT100. It's just a sample cable. This is not something which you should be reusing in a production industrial environment. If you, in most cases, you just have their own RTD probes. They don't need to have an RTD probe. If you don't, you can get an RTD probe based on your requirements because there are thousands of kind of RTD probes and it'd be kind of impossible for us to make a box with every single RTD type. So we send you a sample RTD so you can test everything. You need to make sure everything is working and then you can connect your own PT100 or PT1000 probe based on the selections you made during the purchase option. Let's dig into the hardware and see what it does. So we got a box. It got four mounting screws to mount it. Generally, folks use magnet or screws to mount it. When you get this box, you need to keep a uh, few things in mind. We'll talk about them one by one. So the first, let's open the enclosure. Once you open it, you will see like most NCD sensors, it got two batteries in the lid and two batteries in the main box. And then it got a radio module and it got a switch, power supply, CPU is under the radio module, the RTD chip, three screw terminals to connect to the RTD. And then there are two buttons. One is reset, one is config. Let's talk about the reset and config. Every time you press a reset, the device will send a run message and then following by a data message. Config button can be used to put device into configure mode or to factory reset. That's about the hardware part. Uh, let's talk about the software here. We recommend that users use Node-RED. Node-RED is a graphical based programming tool and there's almost anything you can do with it. Like you can send data to any cloud service, any broker, or you can also store data locally in a CSV, Excel, Google Sheet, or any other storage facility. Now, to set up is pretty straightforward. You will install NCD Red Wireless libraries, and then you will set up the device. So to device, you just plug the device node, and then you will set up your, select your COM port. So what is these COM ports are? There are two main ways to collect data from NCD sensors. The first one, you could be using a USB, Ethernet, RS-232 or RS-485 modem or an Ethernet uh, or a gateway. If you're using a gateway, you don't have to worry about all this. It will come with pre-setup. The gateway is used like, hey, get the data from the devices, go to the gateway and then go to the cloud using Node-RED, any cloud or local service. The modems are like USB, Ethernet and RS-232, RS-485 are used in cases where like you want to collect data on your computer or on a gateway you already have. So that's the second option. Once you're doing the setup, you will select your sensor type. I'm using an RTD, so I selected RTD. Then I would like to configure it so it sends data every few seconds. By default, the device will send data every 10 minutes. And for this demo, that might be a bit long. So we're gonna set up a shorter interval so we can see data really quick changing. When you're using the field, you should be using uh, at a little bit of higher duration so that battery does not drain that quickly. One thing I forgot to mention here is in the hardware, the sensor can be purchased with batteries only or batteries with external power supply. The switch, when the switch is set towards the wall of the enclosure, it will be using the batteries to power it up. If it is away from the wall, then you'll be using the external power supply to power up the electronics and send data. So that's pretty much on the hardware side. Now 
sorry, on the software setup side, it's really straightforward. In this setup, we're gonna send the data and then we're gonna plot that data there. So let's go see the dashboard. Right now, we don't have any data coming, so there's not much there. Now, I'm gonna go to the hardware and I'm gonna turn on the sensor. You will see the LED will blink once and then blink one more time twice. One to send the very run packet and the second is to send the data packet. So you'll see the temperature data came. Now we're gonna put the device into configure mode and change its settings. So how do you put into configure mode is like this. We'll put the gateway node into configure mode. It will say configuring. Then we'll come to the hardware. We'll press and release the R button and immediately hold the config button for 10 plus seconds. So press and release R and immediately hold the config for 10 plus seconds. Once we do that in node red, we'll see the sensor node will also say in config mode. So as you can see, config mode, config acknowledged, and we'll be seeing some debug messages coming out of this node as well. Once the configuration completes. As you can see, configuration completes and the configuration did not go through this time. If would have, we should have seen true here. So what you will do is again, you will press and release the R button, immediately hold the config button for 10 seconds. Once you do that, we'll send the config message again, config acknowledged and we'll wait for the config results message. This time you saw, see that the node ID and delay is true. And we set these values to 15 seconds. So every 15 seconds or so, we should be getting a message from the device. Take the node out of the config mode and take the hardware out of the config mode also. And how do you do that is press reset. If you don't do that, device will be in the run mode, sorry, config mode, and it will drain the battery really quickly. So now we'll just wait for the new data packets coming through. This was our very first data packet. Temperature is 23.33 degrees Celsius. After 15 seconds or so, we got our next message and we got the temperature here. I'm going to hold the RTD in my hand and see how it does. Temperature start to increase. Let's talk about all these parameters. So node ID, node ID is a user configurable parameter. You can change it. Sometimes folks, uh, they uh, give it a number and then they put a sticker on the side of the box so they can see from a distance or sometimes they use it just to mark what devices it is. Then firmware version. Each device comes with a firmware version. As we make changes, make improvements and all, we'll install new firmwares and you will see this number increase. Then the battery voltage. This is a new device and the battery voltage should be around 3.3 volt and the battery percentage is converted this value into percentage. And then the counter, every time device sends a message, it increases the counter value. Now, then we got the data. And as I said, we only have one data point, which is temperature. Sensor name, RTD wireless temperature sensor, and then the MAC address of the sensor. This is unique. Every single sensor has its own MAC address. Let's check the latest message we got 29.3 as a temperature increasing. Let's go on the dashboard and see how that is doing. Node or dashboard, or I'll say, I'm not very good at making really good, pretty dashboards. So you can see the temperature is steadily increasing as I'm holding it. And at the time will go, the temperature will come back down again. So that is pretty much about the RTDs. They're fairly simple devices to use, but they're extremely reliable and accurate way of measuring temperature. If you have any questions about this, you can reach out to ncd.io and there is a lot of study material available on the website also. You can find 
a lot of things about the sensor and all on the product page and there's also resources where you can find the product manual and all the things this device does thanks for checking out if you have any questions please shout to ncd.io